Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, depending on where you are in this world. This is Ajani, and I want to share with you pattern and volume. We have a bona fide head and shoulders top. From the December of 2018 rise into the June of 2019, the peak, and the subsequent correction that is probably and likely, most likely still in progress. We have the left shoulder's head and the right shoulders. The neckline can be drawn as such. And it is quite often that after a decisive break, the press to come and return and touch and kiss the underbelly side of the neckline. So the key question is, is this a sucker's valley? Just like it was here, here, and here. Price is well encapsulated within the price channel, as you can see. And as long as it remains within this price channel, it's a sucker's valley. It's a formal valley. It's a synthetic valley. The action of this is a three-wave swing. The price construct is A, B, C. And I think the five waves of this C wave are complete. Now we have volume confirmation as well. The volume of the head is to this level. I'm sorry, the volume of the left shoulder is to this level, the volume of the head is to this level and to the right shoulder. Both the left and the right shoulder volumes are less than that of the head volume. We have a volume confirmation. The biggest implication of this is that if we measure the minimum one of the price on the decline side of this head and shoulders is that it pretty much says the decline could continue not only into the halving but after the halving. What a shocker that would be. That is not a confirmed projection that I'm making but rather a chart rambling assumption from the perspective of this head and shoulders, if it does reach the very low minimum target run of this head and shoulders top pattern, the halving in May could have very little impact. Or could it? That is to be found out. I hope you found this to be helpful. Tons more videos and analysis on hedging.com.